Previously on Danganronpa V3. Ryoma was small. Gonta could have chucked him easy. <laughs> Slam dunk! <laughs> I'm sorry, that's kind of fucked up. I'm just like imagining Gonta just like leaping in the air with Ryoma in his one hand, just one arm in him, and just going boom! <laughs> Slam him right into the, the tank. Guess I still got a ways to go! And now back to a new killing game. Now, we just need to figure out who the culprit is. But of course, it would be pointless to unravel this mystery otherwise. So, who is it? Hmm, looks like it's time for me to start the main event. But my sidekick here is on a roll right now, so I'll let him take this one. <laughs> I'll let him take this one too. And the next one. And the one after that. Hmm? Ah, okay. You're just pushing everything onto Shuichi because you don't know yourself. Because you're a big dumb idiot. Well, Shuichi, do you already know who the culprit is? Yes, Samugi. I've already known for a long goddamn time. Yes, I have a good idea of who the culprit is. Hey, Shuichi, are you hesitating again? No! What? Come on, man, there's no need for that. Like I said, you're my sidekick. I take responsibility for any mistakes my sidekick makes. So use those skills of yours I believe in to shove the truth down their throats. You believe in my detective skills? That's right. I'm going to leave it all to you, Shuichi. Yeah, I need to believe in my detective work. This whole setup would have been prepared in the gym well beforehand. Knowing that narrows the list of suspects. Yes. Alright, obviously, the killer was... You, Kaido! Well, God damn it, I was supposed to pick me, you dumbass! Oh, fuck! I knew I should have picked you as my sidekick! No. It's time, guys! Was Nico right this whole goddamn demon time? Was I right from the start again? Here we go! It has to be you! Yes! Oh, yes! There's one more thing I still have to confirm. But Kirumi is the prime suspect. Oh, yes! Oh, that fucking plot guessing power is still flowing deep within me. <laughs> cool. Yeah, I got it again. Wow. I'm on a, I'm on a roll this game! Remember, I remember Don Rupa too. I fucked up so bad on the second case. Like, I didn't see that one coming at all. I think I think I was focused on... um. I'm blanking on her name for some reason, but the ultimate gymnast. I was so focused on her. Nope, it was Peiko. And I remember I was like, I was like, what? <laughs> but when I thought about it, I was like, oh yeah, that kind of makes sense. Because I remember it, it, I was thinking the gymnast had something to do with her, like getting through one of the, the a high window. But then I forgot. Oh, that's right. Peiko's a motherfucking ninja. Me? What? K Kirumi? Oh. So Kirumi is the culprit! <laughs> Angie says that actually a lot like, Angie just doesn't give a fuck, seriously. The number of fucks Angie gives at all times, whether someone dies, betrays them, just slays everybody in the room, it's always zero. That is not yet a certainty. Let us hear her testimony first. Is this true, Kirumi? I cannot believe you would suspect me. If that is the case, then I will have to deny it. I will not let you make the wrong choice. The wrong choice? I'll be curious to see what her motive was, though. If you do believe it is me, are you prepared to stand by that decision? I will refute your accusations with all my might, for everyone's sake. Oh, here we go. Oh, I got another live situation. Monokuma file, insight me and Grim. Maki alone, witnessing. I, of course, am not the culprit. The alibis are say witnessing. And you have no alibi, do you? An alibi for nighttime? I believe most of us do not have one. I, I have evidence that proves you're the culprit. Do you think we would fall for such nonsense? The trick relied on complex mechanisms to work. That someone like you could be skilled enough to pull it off. Preposterous. That could have been done by anyone. Kirumi is thin and has a nice body. <laughs> she and Ryoma could have totally shared an inner tube. Oh, yeah. We all could have, except perhaps Gonta. 
First crew to implicate herself. My logic has to be all right. Airtight. It's interesting that I'm actually gonna, I could use a lie here, here though. That's actually, I bet they'll make the, this really interesting though. I'll lie about something and make her fall into my lie, right? So what's alibis for yesterday? Crime alibis for, my, my alibi for nighttime. Oh, here we go. I believe most of us. I think this is actually it. Boom, gotcha. I'll reveal the truth. Well, I'm better at lying than I thought it would be. <laughs> Maybe we can't prove everyone's alibi. But we can still pinpoint the culprit. How so? Last Back night, root. Kaito and I heard Maki speaking with Ryoma. But I haven't mentioned what happened after. Kiromi, any thoughts? Oh, interesting. This is actually building upon my previous lie. Oh, wait, wait, that's right. That, that I think that lie, though, was obligatory. So, I was like, would that mean if I didn't lie, then I, I wouldn't be able to lie here? But I think, yeah, I think I had to do that, so. Did you return to your respective dorm rooms? Yes, we did. But I couldn't fall asleep, so I was awake until morning. Which allowed me to hear a certain sound in the night. Uh, a certain sound? Last night, I heard the sound of someone leaving their room and exiting the dorm. And after some time... I heard the sound of them returning. Could it have been the culprit? But all you heard was a sound? That doesn't mean you know who made it. It was the Phantom! Indeed it doesn't. But I didn't hear the sound of someone going down the stairs. Which must mean that whoever left has a room on the first floor. No one on the second floor left the dorm that night. So everyone on the second floor has an alibi? You cannot determine the culprit with just that. On the contrary, once we rule out the second floor, we know who the culprit is. Because preparing the ropeway required time to be spent in the gym. It's extremely likely that the culprit helped set up the magic show. In short, Himiko, Angie, Kaito, or Kirumi. I see. So among the four, the only one with a room on the first floor of the dorms is... Yes. Only Kirumi. It wasn't very elegant, but my lie was certainly plausible. Will they buy it? Oh, uh, here we go. They're... Oh, they're gonna fuck themselves! Hmm. You heard a sound, huh? Well, I hear a load of BS. Shut up, Kokichi. Shut the fuck up. But unfortunately for you, Kirumi, your time's up. We already know you're the only one capable of setting all this up. Right, Shuichi? Right. Well, that was an unexpected assist. <laughs> right. The only person who could have prepared this murder is Kirumi. Well, the preparations in the gym, in any case. And why do you believe that? Before the culprit could put the body into the tank, several steps needed to be taken. Like tying the rope to the gym window and putting a partition in the piranha tank. That's right. Ryoma's body entered the gym from the window, but that required preparation. Okay, I think we've actually now probably looped back around to where what would have what we would have done. Okay, well maybe not. I thought I thought we she would like jump in on the lie and I guess just kinda just gave me a little bit of bonus stuff, but not really. Uh, that that could only have been done when Kirumi was by herself in the gym before nighttime. Right. But Kirumi was alone in the gym for only like five minutes. Not enough time for the whole murder, but enough time to set it up. Enough time to tie the rope on the window frame and put the pain in the piranha tank. This is my selfless devotion. Oh, here it comes. It's time. While I do understand where you are coming from, I assure you this is just a part of your petty imagination. An empty theory created from nihilism. Uh. Her true colors show. It's time to slay them all. Marked window frame, black piece of fabric, scratch sink. Oh, it's gonna be the black piece of fabric. the rope and partition. I suppose five minutes might be enough time. 
I accept that. However, the crux of your argument is not but a guess. You continue to force the facts to conform to your misguided narrative. When you consider that the crux of your argument is faulty, your entire case falls apart. What do you mean by crux of the argument? How is it just a guess? I am referring to the rope. Now, with that rope, it is possible to reach the gym window from the third floor window. But there is no evidence to indicate this at oh. all. Oh, In shit. other words, it is just a guess. And then you add assumptions and hearsay to that guess. It is nothing more than deception. This is Damn it! Oh, okay, never mind. The marked windows, okay. Wait, wait I can't hit it! I couldn't hit the V-spot, though, at the angle it was at. This gotcha. Happened. I'll cut through your words. That's the way. I have evidence. The abrasions left on the window frames at the gym and the lab. Were those scratches from when the rope was tied to the window frame? Just tying the rope to the frame wouldn't cause so much damage. It's when it had the weight pulling on it. The rope that was tied to the frames must have been weighed down significantly. I see. Okay, that makes sense. The frames didn't break, but they were left with distinct marks. Those scratches are proof that you used a rope to carry the body to the windowsill. Oh, oh, here we go. Starting to break. Oh, what's wrong, Kirumi? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? Hey, what's wrong? Hey. <laughs> Hey, 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 hey! <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Yeah, uh-huh, yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah. Is Kirumi quiet because cause that's what happened? Please answer us, Kirumi! Shuichi is doing this for your sake! If it is for my sake, then it would be much easier to forfeit. But I cannot allow that, because I must do this for everyone! For everyone. I have a duty and a responsibility. I must serve everyone and protect them. See, this is like I, I was trying to look at this and see like what what reason could she do this that uh, selfless, you know, that is selfless, like she, like the maid that she is. But I haven't seen it yet. But she still seems to be claiming it. It, it is. So I refuse to surrender. They won't forgive me if I do. What? Where is this coming from? Her response seems genuine. What it, so what does she mean by everyone? Is she doing this for all our sakes? Am I am I wrong? Is Kurumi innocent? No. no I, I'm I'm wrong again. Hey, Kirumi, who exactly is this everyone you're talking about? Kaito? I've just got a weird feeling about this. Oh. She's not referring to us. When you said everyone, it felt like you weren't talking about us. Oh. Oh. It felt like you were talking about someone who isn't here. Damn, Kaido got my back. Someone who isn't here? Someone outside of the academy? Hey. Do you think Kirumi saw her own motive video? Huh? The motive video? You saw your important someone in danger, so you committed murder, right? Ah, of course. Is that true? I am so sorry for making such a mess. Because of that, I made all of you assume something unnecessary. Unnecessary? You saying I'm wrong? This everyone you're talking about. It is all of you, of course. No. Really? Do you swear to a tour? Yes, really. So please believe me. I am not the culprit. I do not care what becomes of me, but I will not allow any of you to die. Because I made a promise to Kaede. She wished for all of us to escape together. 
I want to fulfill my duties as the ultimate maid. I wish to serve everyone. So please believe me. You have to! Kirumi! Aww. Um, are we totally sure Kirumi's the culprit? Maybe it's someone else! Are we sure Kokichi isn't the culprit? Oh, you just want to kill me. God, that's profiling, okay? Just because I'm the antagonistic one of this group. <laughs> <laughs> How rude. Gonta just can't believe Kirumi would kill Ryuma. Kirumi's breakfasts were the best. She always treated us so well. She really is like a mom. Best mommy. Perhaps it was after she gained our trust that she saw her chance to strike. <laughs> you really are screwed up. Uh, I mean, I think he has to be realistic here. Screwed up from head to toe. Even through your clothes, I can tell. Shuichi, please reconsider suspecting me as the culprit. No! Fuck you! You only suspect me because I was at the gym during nighttime yesterday, correct? But you cannot accuse me of being the culprit with that insufficient proof. It is still possible for Maki and Kaito to have gone to the gym. They do not have alibis. They could have pretended to help Himiko, but secretly prepared the murder. I think that piece of fabric is going to be the, the final piece, right? The one that, that seals her fate. It's going to be from, like, her apron there, her gloves, or something. But none of these guys wear black! No, nobody, none of the other ones! Well, I think, well, Maki might have black pantyhose or something, but, you know, anyway! When you put it that way, it does we can't Oops. accuse Kirumi. Sorry. Me just based on our alibis. Say so it's definitely possible. Yeah, it does seem possible. Guys, maybe suspecting Kirumi is wrong. She's good. She's very good at manipulating us. Yeah, maybe we should think it over one more time. I made a promise. As the ultimate detective, I made a promise to seek the truth. I made a promise to Kaede, so I'm not turning back now. Not today. They're scared. They're scared they have to accuse one of their friends of murder. So it's up to me. I have to do it. I'll use my detective work to prove it. This is nothing compared to accusing Kaede, all right? You guys don't know fucking pain. So you still believe I am the culprit? Yeah. But there is no evidence to indicate that I am- No, there is. I have proof that you're the culprit. Yes! I realized it when we determined that the rope weight was used to move the body. If it was indeed Kirumi who moved the body with a makeshift rope weight, then the final clue falls into place. The final clue? No! The hell are you talking about? You're talking out your butt, Suichi! The no. damning evidence that proves Kirumi is the culprit. Yes, good. Shuichi, won't you please tell me why you are so desperate to pin me as the culprit? Because it's the truth! Don't you want to protect everyone? I'm doing this because I want to protect everyone. Shuichi. Then you're wrong. Your deduction is all wrong. Your words aren't going to convince me now. Not when I know the truth. Yes. All you care about is your own reasoning. You don't even listen to others. Shut up, maggot! I can't bet everyone's lives on a deduction made by a self-righteous brat! Oh, shit. You can't save anyone! No more doubts. I'm confident I'm right. Especially with that reaction, shit. i to present everyone the evidence that proves she's guilty. Are you guys ready? It's time. This. Right here. Boom! This is it! I knew it. The piece of black fabric in the pool. That's the final clue that proves you're guilty. It's been bothering me for a while. I couldn't figure out what it was. I thought it was just trash at first, but I couldn't dismiss it entirely. Now that the class trial has come this far, I know for certain it's an important piece of the puzzle. Because like the inner tube, it's evidence the culprit couldn't dispose of. Huh? Why not? 
Using the ropeway, you could slide the inner tube from the lab to the gym. But how would you control it? If it kept sliding and hit the window, the momentum would have thrown the body off. Ah, they used their hand. It's part for glove. She used her hand to slow it down. To prevent that from happening, the culprit needed some way to adjust the speed. For example, the culprit yep. could have used their hands for friction. Yeah, so what? Let me see your glove, Kurumi. Show it to me. Or one of your gloves. I don't know if it's probably not the glove you're wearing. You're still wrong. Your logic is flawed. Oh my god, Kurumi, why? You were best mom, why did you do this? Kurumi, why are you becoming increasingly erratic? <laughs> there is such absolute beauty in trying to fight against the truth. This is so fucking beautiful. What truth? That black cloth is just trash. You can't prove I'm the culprit with just that. I was Android 2B! Best waffle ever! Booty booty butt chick Zuichi! No, it's not just trash. It's proof that you're the culprit. Your booty butt cheeks won't save you this time. <laughs> Finding out how that black fabric fits into this is the key to everything. I make it all clear now. Time for the rhythm thing, right? Yep, argument armament. Oh god. You are incorrect. What is oh, this truth? What the? Uh hold, okay. That oh, I see. Your empty deduction. You continue to confuse everyone. You are yeah. incorrect. Break the armor! Uh, yeah! In this class trial, everyone's life is at stake! Because yes! Of your self righteous uh, truth. Uh, oh, whoops. Everyone might die! Uh, gotcha! I completely understand your reasoning. Oh, but I will never God. accept it. It seems ah. safe to pin me as the culprit. You do not have any evidence. Uh, you are only providing us with speculation. We only wish to protect everyone. Oh. Why must you interfere? I completely understand your reasoning. But I will Damn never it. accept it. It seems you wish to pin me as the culprit. You ah, do not have any evidence. What's that thing there? You are only providing us with speculation. We only wish to protect everyone. Why must you interfere? I completely understand your reasoning. But I will never accept it. Gotcha! What does that piece of trash prove? Uh, me? Me? Wait, no, no, no! Karoom, I was like trying to... Mikiruzu's gloves! No, that's not right. Okay, here we go. Final blow! What is that piece of trash proof? Clear roomies on the it meat boat! It ends here! Ah! I'm naked now! Holy crap! A piece of fabric came from Kirumi's black glove. <gasps> Kirumi's glove? If the culprit were slowing their descent by grabbing the rope with their hands, there would have been a lot of friction, easily enough to cause rope burn. Yes. But our culprit was smart. They weren't burned because they weren't barehanded. Yeah, the culprit had gloves on. One got all torn up from the friction and... And it fell into pool? From what I remember, the only one who wears black gloves is Kirumi. <laughs> Look at Stella, can't you just love this? She's like, oh man, this is so much fun. Everyone else have just so much fun with this. The gloves on your hands now. I take it they're from your dorm? The extra uniforms in our rooms are yeah. made of the same material we're wearing now. You can test my theory by comparing the fabric scrap with your glove. Ah, uh, there you go. <laughs> oh man, she's fucking sweating. God damn it, fucking Shuichi! Well, Kirumi, will you allow us to compare the black fabric we found in the pool with your gloves? Shut the fuck up, you goddamn toaster oven! <laughs> huh? 
What's the matter? Why are you sweating so much? <laughs> Atua senses your guilt! He wishes to feed on it! Kurumi, what's wrong? <laughs> the ant, just like them, I'm scared of revealing the truth. Because it means that someone has to be sacrificed. Bakati was scared too. She didn't let that stop her. She so thought things through to the end. I faced the truth and doubted it. And kept thinking and kept going. This is where it led me. And I won't turn away from it. I will show you the truth. It's time. Closing argument. Start. Damn it. I wish they did the song though from... Alright, let's do it, guys. Got it. Is the truth of the case. All right, let's go. Act five. The victim's body was found this morning during Himiko's underwater escape act. It's kind of interesting. It, the way they set this up, they're like they start from the the end and then they jump back to the beginning again. When we saw the piranhas in the tank, we thought that Himiko's escape failed. Of course. It was all part of the act. Himiko's escape went perfectly. But when Angie opened the curtain in front of the tank, we saw Ryoma with piranha swarming around him. Before any of us could react, the piranhas devoured Ryoma's body. And all that was left were his bones and the handcuffs he was wearing. In a tornado of Pepto. That horrifying sight was the finishing touch on the culprit's own twisted magic trick. Good, yes, good! The culprit obfuscated the time and place of the murder, implicating Himiko in the process. In truth, the crime ah. began last night, around 8.55 p.m. And now back to Act 1. While preparing for the show in the gym, the culprit had a chance to be alone. It was then that the culprit used the ladder to reach the piranha tank. And removed the glass lid to put inside the tank. They used it as a partition to force the piranhas to one side of the tank. Next, the culprit took the rope from the stage wing in the gym. It's pretty damn brilliant plan, I gotta say. And used the ladder once more. This time to climb up to the gym's window. But nothing can escape my bullshit. <laughs> nothing can escape my ultimate plot guessing eye. Once there, they opened the window and tied one end of the rope to the window frame. I will say though, I really honestly didn't think that. to me, in my opinion, this was not as obvious as the first case. Just to me, I know. I know that a lot of people said the first case they didn't find it obvious at all. And I, I want you guys to know also that I'm not like, I'm not, especially after hearing people's response that clearly I was in the minority there. I'm not going to hold it against the game and you know say, oh well, it was too obvious. I'm going to keep that as a critique against the game. No, I'm, I, I'm dropping that critique. <laughs> clearly, I, I, I was, I was alone there. The rope was then thrown out the window toward the pool. Yes, These good. Operations were key for the culprit's elaborate plan. At nighttime, past midnight, the culprit asked Ryoma to meet at his lab. All the pieces were in place. The culprit was ready to murder. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, poor Ryoma. First, the culprit knocked Ryoma out, 
probably striking him from behind. I'll be curious then, about her motive, they though. They the handcuffs from the shower room on Ryoma's wrists. That, that's what really is, like, like, I don't know. Like, it's gotta be something in that video. She seems so, like, caring and that she wanted to help Kaide, right? Like, so it's gotta be something really just even more important than that, right? Somebody on the outside, maybe. See, so like, holy shit, look at this is fucking just messed up. And shoved his head into the sink filled with water. Die, motherfucker, die! I can actually see her holding the glove, the gloves in her mouth. I still got a well. Water and the pain of drowning. Ryoma should have woken up and struggled. The culprit anticipated his resistance, which is why Ryoma was handcuffed. The struggle left scrapes on the cuffs and sink, but in the end, Ryoma succumbed. Although that wasn't that on the outside of the sink. Looks like her, his hands are in the inside there. Shut up, whatever. Ryoma was dead, but the culprit's plan had only just begun. They removed the cable from the tennis net and hung it from the window facing the pool. And then, at the pool, they connected the wire and the rope from the gym window. They returned to the lab after picking up one last thing. The rubber inner tube that was in the pool's tool shed. Once back in the lab, the culprit pulled the cable, bringing up the rope. They pulled until the rope was taut, then tied it to the lab's window frame. And thus, the gym and the lab windows were connected by a single rope. After making a hanger of sorts with another length of rope tied to the inner tube, they hung the inner tube on the rope connecting the windows. That's how the culprit created the ropeway that was used to move the body. An impressive premeditated murder, but the culprit made two crucial mistakes. The culprit got on the inner tube with Ryoma's body and slid toward the gym. With the height difference between the windows, they would have built up quite some speed. To avoid crashing through the window, the culprit used a brake. Ah. Used their own hand to grip the rope and slow down. Ow, 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 ow! That would have caused significant rope burn had the culprit not been wearing gloves. Still worked a hell on them though, so I'm sure she still got a little bit of rope burn. But due to the friction, part of a glove tore off and dropped in the pool. Regardless, the culprit reached the window and put Ryoma's body into the piranha tank. The glass pane not only kept the piranhas and the body separated, it also kept the piranhas so close together, they concealed the body. After that, Whee! all the culprit had to do was untie the rope and the inner tube. But that's when they made their second mistake. Shit! <laughs> One end of the rope came loose, and the inner tube dropped into the pool. Uh -huh. It's the hole in a glove there, too. Thus, Fuck. the culprit was forced to leave two key pieces of evidence, the fabric and the inner tube. They couldn't retrieve the evidence because of the rule against swimming at nighttime.
And that's the whole story. Am I wrong, Kirumi Tojo? The ultimate maid? More like the ultimate bullshitter! Can't bullshit the ultimate bullshitter. <laughs> Kirumi, that's the conclusion I reached. Do you have any objections? Uh. This is very, very unfortunate, Shuichi. But I'm afraid I'm gonna have to kick your ass. <laughs> what? My pride as a maid demands that I fulfill every request that I receive. But to end like this... Does that mean you admit it? Kirumi? Why use your own gloves, though? The warehouse should have had plenty. She says she has to fulfill every request. Could be that someone requested her to kill Ryoma in her video? Or all of us or something? But why? There oh, weren't maybe? any. Obviously, she would have used them if they were available. Jeez, Monokuma provided everything but the gloves. That's pretty sadistic. Ah! But thanks to him, at least the game became way more interesting. No, but I did leave other mitts, you stupid bitch! You could have used that! So, it's decided. This case was decided the moment someone, who shall not be named, opened their big mouth. Uh, we, we don't know that. Maybe the real culprit is someone nobody expects. Oh, maybe Nosuke will be the one to die then next. Maybe they'll push him in because he fucked up the, the case. Is right. No need to worry. Oh, Monotum. You're like a no. mommy taking care of her sick child. No. It, this is it, right? Yeah. This is going to push him over the edge. Minosuke's not going to take this shit. That's the nice thing, though, about this, guys. It's not just about figuring out who the killer is. Once you figure that out, you got to figure out who's going to be the next Monokub to die. No, Monodom's dead. No. No, Monodom. All right. Let's go. The heart-racing excitement as the blackened and the spotless finally face off. It's voting time! Here we go. Clearly it was Kade's dead body. No. Uh, die, Kurumi. Now then, it seems the voting has finished. Let's see the result. The survey says... Someone vote for me? Oh, is it Kurumi that voted for me? <laughs> no, fuck you, it's Shuichi. Shuichi, that little cunt. Kill him. Kill him. Who'll be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice? Or the dreadfully wrong one? I don't understand why they have me saying this after we've shown who you all voted for! Doesn't make any dumb sense! And the verdict is... Oh, give me those coins. And how to do? Got A again? I, I, I fucked up on a few of these, right? How the fuck am I getting A's on all these? Oh, it actually does tell me if I get a, a back root, doesn't it? That's cool. Yeah, I got two back roots. I see. So yeah, that one other lie was actually I had to do it that way. Oh, I see. Okay, per I, mi the misses only got minus six hundred, but I still got A's on each of these. A few of these I really didn't do very well on either. I think they're being a little more forgiving than they used to be in previous ones. Wait, what? I'm on normal difficulty? What? No! How did I get a normal difficulty? I should be on mean difficulty. What? That's weird. I could have sworn I was on mean difficulty. Is that right? Well, it says it is. Well, I won't be able to check it until afterwards. <laughs> I don't know. I guess, I guess not. Shit, how did that change difficulty? That sucks. Oh my! 
Oh my, you all voted correctly! What an unexpected and unpredictable outcome! Nobody saw it coming! Nobody! The black and new killed Ryo Mahoshi is Kuroi Dojo, the ultimate maid! Way to go, bitch! Yeah, yeah bravo! Thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness we managed to get through the class trial again. All thanks to me. You gotta be kidding me! Th there's nothing good about this at all! <laughs> Why? Why did it have to be Kurumi? Yeah. Truly, this result was unexpected. Wait! How can he be so calm about it? No way. But Gonto no can believe it. Kurumi was so helpful. For everyone. <laughs> Say Kurumi is also culprit? Yoo-hoo! Hey, hey, how long have you been lying to us? The truth is... Is that why you took such good care of us? So that you could deceive everyone? <gasps> You mean she's not my mom? <laughs> she's not my mommy! Hey! She was never your fucking mom! Damn it. Hey, Kurumi! Tell me. Why? You're always thinking about everyone around you. How could you kill someone? <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. Human beings have always been selfish, self centered creatures. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I hate humans. They burn down the forest we call home, they pollute the rivers we drink from. <laughs> I'll never forgive them. And they put a plague onto our houses! Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you're right, M Monotaro. No way! But is that really a reason to destroy them? Some humans are really nice! Shut up! Shut up, shut up, shut up! Enough of the commentary already, no gives a fuck! Say. Well, Kurumi, were, you, were your feelings towards us simply another falsehood? How? No, it can't be! Say it ain't so! That was just another lie, too! No. I don't think so. I still believe Kurumi cares about us. What? And how would you know? Hmm. I can't say for certain, but I can sense that this trial has been agonizing for her. You can't say for certain, um? That that is what a detective would say. Um Kurumi, are you upset? Because of the people important to you. Um You mean like from the the Moda video? So Kurumi watched hers after um, all. Um Earlier Kurumi mentioned that she had accepted a request. Perhaps that request came from someone important in a motive video. What's wrong? Do you have nothing to say for yourself? I do not agree. No, that's not it. I'm just lost. Because if I tell you why, why I did it, you will regret what you've what you've just done. Regret? Damn. Spit it out already! Otherwise, we can't accept this outcome. Please, please, Kurumi, tell us. I care about you a lot, and I know the others care about you too. So please! Understood. Very well then. If you are all so desperate to know... I shall take that request. I will consider this a final request and tell you everything. Well, you know... No more lies then. You better just tell us the truth, please, and thank you. Yes. Yes, I understand. That is correct. Your reasoning was exactly right. The reason I murdered Ryoma was because of what I saw in my motive video. As I thought, you did indeed watch your video. Does that mean someone broke the agreement and traded you your motive video? <laughs> All right, fess up. Which one of you did it? Close your eyes and raise your hand if it was you. What are you saying? Why would the one raising their hand need to close their eyes? May I? <laughs> that won't be necessary. I did not trade my motive video with anyone. Huh? If you didn't trade it with anyone, how'd you see your motive video? Hey. Perhaps Kurumi received her own motive video. I see. Yeah. So she. So it did happen that one person did get the their own video from the start. <gasps> Huh? You mean she had her own motive video from the start? Yes. Correct. No one had my, my motive video but me, the video's intended recipient. I have no idea why. The fuck's going on? Th that's not possible! Monica, what the hell's going on? Huh? huh? You know, I, I meant to bring this up earlier because it's been bugging me for a while. All of us talk about videos being switched. What does that mean exactly? Ah, don't play dumb. You're the one who switched up all the motive videos. No, no. <laughs> no, I didn't. Uh huh? Uh. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? You kids! You can't handle this like this simple! Um. Oh. oh, was I not supposed to ask that? Did you come screw up again? Huh? Huh? Not supposed to. Dumbass! It's all been off when he's full. She passed them out without checking the names. What? I didn't know. I didn't know. Monotaro should check the names too. 
Wait a minute. I don't even remember passing out any videos. <laughs> it was my fault. Yeah. What? I'm sorry. I apologize. I should have been more careful. Ah, uh, Monodom's the best one in there. <laughs> Monodom, best Monocub. No. No, Monodom, it's not your fault. Okay. It, it's all our fault. I, I'm sorry too. Yeah. It seems I misunderstood. Yeah. I completely forgot that the plan all along was re to redistribute the videos. Daddy. Daddy. Hey, um. It's not your fault. It's for all, kids. It's my fault for forgetting. Father. Father. Yeah. Thank goodness. Now we can all be one happy family and not hopefully get killed here in a second. What? Why, why the hell is this mushy feel good crap? You stupid. Y'all idiots. I'm thrilled get along with you dummy bass. Well now. I'm sorry to cause so much trouble. Please continue your boring conversation. I see. I see. The Monocups merely distributed the motor videos at random. Receiving my own video was nothing more than bad luck. Oh, I see. So you just watched it without knowing why it was given to you? Hey. What was in your video? What's wrong? Well, you promised to tell us everything. Yes. I will tell you the truth in its entirety, but... I doubt that everyone will believe it. So, if that's the case, why don't we all watch the motive to get video together? That's right. Yes, that would be much better. Let's hurry before Daddy gets bored again. How thorough, thorough of you! You don't suppose it is better this way? Perhaps the truth will be easier to believe if you witness it with your own eyes. Okay. After Kurumi had spoken, the Monocups began playing the video. Uh. popular demand, it's time for the motive video! Who's the most important person in your life? And now, without further ado... Oh, wait. Is it Ryoma? Asking her to kill, have her kill him? Or some weird shit? Why, well, let's not jump the gun, what? Kirumi Tojo, the ultimate maid. With clients in politics and finance, this elite maid is renowned for completing any request. One fateful day. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> she was suddenly summoned by one of her most influential clients, the Prime Minister. The Prime Minister had a request of utmost importance. He requested that she use her talent as the ultimate maid to serve her country. He asked Kirumi to <gasps> make this country great again. Oh and my! Transferred all his authority to her. Wow! Oh my God! They didn't make a Trump reference. He even does it in the voice. Make this country great again. <laughs> oh, there's our topical humor. No one suspected that the Prime Minister's new secretary was secretly running the country, and over time, she became the de facto Prime Minister. Only Kirumi could save the country from impending doom. Oh, she has to kill the Ultimates or something? Yes, the future of the country rests entirely on her capable shoulders. But Kirumi is up to the task, for she only accepts requests that only she can fulfill. She is driven by the belief that her citizens are the most important people in her life. It's going to be part of the ultimate hunt. I, I bet that's why they, they did chase down these ultimates. Oh, and while we're on the subject of those important people, an unfortunate event will soon befall those vermin and sheeple. What event, you ask? It's a secret. Find out for yourself. <laughs> that's it? Huh? It can't be. What? What, what the hell? The, the Prime Minister? Yes. Everything you saw, just saw is true, though I only remembered it upon watching that video. R remembered? Wait! B please hold on! That video is true? Is this? Th that's ridiculous! There's no way Kurumi's really the Prime Minister! I do not agree. No, it's the truth. I'm Kurumi Tojo, the ultimate maid, and the most important the most important people to me. This is my selfless devotion. Are the citizens of this country. I was called upon to lift the country out of a dire situation. I swore to serve and help all its citizens. 
As the ultimate maid, I have advised politicians many times in the past. But he wanted me to prioritize saving the country from an unprecedented crisis. I fully accepted this request. This is going to be part of the ultimate hunt, isn't it? As a maid, it is a great honor to serve the nation itself. What did I do? <laughs> You're literally confusing the shit out of me because this makes no sense. I gotta take a dump. I see. I see. Sakurumi was the real prime minister running the country behind the scenes. Huh? How can you seriously believe that a high schooler could be a prime minister? I really don't get it. I don't think it's odd that an ultimate level talent could be that powerful. I mean, Keyboy's talent let him pretend to be a human, even though he's a heartless robot. How rude. Uh, how rude. I am not pretending. I am still learning. I see. Oh, I see. Well, good, good luck, I guess. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> I was aware of Kurumi's impressive talents, but prime minister... What? Then Kurumi is really prime minister? She hold burden of country's f future? Actually, the motive video aside, Kurumi doesn't seem like she'd lie about something like that. Yoo-hoo! Hey, hey, I get that Kurumi is really important, but what was that unprecedented crisis? I do not know. I... I don't know, actually. Why can't I remember? Uh, um. Oh. So, she wanted to get out and save everybody? I, is... She, she's that's the point so she has to go take care of our citizens but in order to do that she has to get out of this place is that what they mean their memories lost that's wait isn't this just like the ultimate hunt that is correct perhaps it's connected to the ultimate hunt the ultimate hunt is connected to the unprecedented crisis facing the nation um if that's true how are they connected what is this ultimate hunt anyway i do not know i do not know what is happening to the nation while i am here inside the end wall that's why i need to know I need to know what the most important people in my in my life are safe. This is my selfless devotion. Because I am duty and honor bound to protect every citizen of this nation. Oh, okay, yeah. I guess that is it. My apologies. That is why I needed to escape. So, so you weighed our lives against the lives of everyone else in the nation. But, but if those are the options, of course you'd pick everyone outside, right? There's just too many lives at stake out there. <sighs> Can we just stop Kurumi from doing that? Because we selfishly want to live. Man, we suck. Especially you, Suichi. I don't like that. I don't like that. What should we do? Did we just make a terrible mistake? If every outside dies because Kurumi's dead, Why? does that mean we pretty much destroy the country? What do we do? Well, wait. I mean, I do see the, the issue there, the burden, I suppose. But at the flip side, they could also all be fine. You could be sacrificing all the people here for no fucking reason, right? But I guess the point is that there was this unprecedented disaster coming, so she she still has no idea. So, I mean, it, there's a good chance that they're not okay, I guess. Yeah. Say, what's Monica plan to do with the rest of humanity? You know, like, how many people live in this country? Like, 100 million easily. Always messing around. No matter how powerful the mastermind is, there's no way they could really. Bears do not lie. <laughs> I don't lie! Bears do not lie. Hey, um... I am the ruler of this world! Nothing is beyond my power! Huh? Nothing's beyond your power? What kind of arrogant, ridiculous... 100%. That is 100% a lie. It is impossible that he could bring disaster to a country. Dude, have you seen the previous games? No, of course he didn't, because otherwise you would see this shit coming a mile away! <laughs> oh! What are you trying to pull? What's so funny? Cuz! You guys act like you can't believe it! But you're all terrified anyway! Ding. If you can't believe it, then you're terrified for no reason! <laughs> Why do humans lie? Why are humans the only animal that tells lies? <laughs> Shut up! Hey, cut it out! This is serious! Uh oh? How long are you gonna keep talking about Kurumi? Dang it! Let's talk about Ryoma! It will be a shame to completely neglect him! Oh, I see. <laughs> That's right. We, we know your motive to kill, but why'd you kill Ryoma specifically? Because he was easy to kill. Huh? Easy to kill? Because he's so tiny. <laughs> Weird. R Ryoma not that weak. When he uses use his Tsukichi method, even Gota could no catch. I do not agree. His physical strength was irrelevant when he did not have a reason to live. Do you agree? Without that, he became the weakest among us. Huh? Wh what? I took advantage of his weakness and killed him. Um... What do you mean? That is... I told him I had urgent, urgent matters to discuss, to meet me in the research lab on the third floor. There, I revealed my motive video, and afterward I told him... That is correct. 
I am responsible for the life of every citizen of this nation, so I must escape this place. He then responded. Oh. Got it. So, you got a reason to survive. That's the complete opposite of me. <laughs> huh. That's good. Or... If you got something to live for, it means your life has value. <laughs> After he said that, he told me he would clean up the tennis ball balls lying around. And then, he turned his back toward me. At that moment, my determination solidified. A person like him would have noticed my bloodthirst emanating. He already knew. He still struggled, though, when you tried to and scrape the handcuffs against the, the sink. He forfeited his life right then and there. Go ahead, kill me, bitch. Damn. That is correct. Where did I get that stick? That was when I decided I must sacrifice his life for my nation and my people. And then, then Ryoma knew he was going to be killed. But... Wait a minute, it's Maki's fault that Ryoma decided, decided he didn't want to live anymore. What? what? Because... Ryoma only gave up on life after he showed him his motive video. Well, since he didn't watch his motive video, I guess he had no way of knowing. What are you talking about? What's your point? Wait! Wait a minute, you're talking as if Ryoma saw that um, that motive video. Didn't you say that you, he only checked the name and didn't watch the video? Mm -hmm. Huh? Did I say huh? that? What are you getting at? Well, you know. I, I probably shouldn't say anything, but someone someone has to step up and speak for poor Ryoma. I told you. Okay, what's your point? That he gave up on life because I showed him his motive video? Um, I can do that in a sec, but why do you think Ryoma wanted to see his motive video? Oh, he was looking for a reason to live. Let me guess, he looked at the video and he saw that there was nothing, right? There was no motive for him, maybe? And that plummeted him into depression? Because he was looking for a reason to live. Isn't that right, why? Maki? How? Do you know that? What? Swap motive videos. Didn't we agree not to show them to each other? Yeah. Yeah, I remember. Because once you watch them, you've got a motive to kill. But... But if it shows someone important to me, I'd really like to see that. Hey. Any idea he'll be in the mi in the video? No. I, I don't. That's why I want to see it. <laughs> once I've got someone important to me, I'll have a reason to live. Jeez. If I've got a reason to live, then I've got a reason to escape here with you guys. In other words. In other words, that video might just give me a motive to live. Please. So, please. Oh, I see. Very interesting, though. It's interesting how it sort of turned that on its head, as opposed to using it to kill somebody. He's going to use that instead as a motive to not want to die. That's true. You're right. He was looking for a reason to live. Which means you shouldn't have shown him his motive video in the first place. Hey. What, what, what do you mean? What, what did this video show? Uh, because he couldn't... He already didn't have that motive, right? Which means... I don't know if Kogichi actually saw it, but he's figured out that there isn't anything in the video, is it? Ah. Nothing. His motive was empty. Huh? Empty? Oh, we're up next. Let's give it a watch, shall we? popular demand, it's time for the motive video! Who's the most important person in your life? And now, without further ado... This message is for Ryoma Hoshi, the ultimate tennis pro! Aww. Unfortunately, there is no one in the world who is important to you. I'm so sorry. Really, I am. You have my deepest sympathies. Aw, it's just sad. Sorry. 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 No one? No one was, in, was important to him? Always messing around. Uh, that's what he was shown? If he saw something like that? <sighs> he had no one to care for and no one who cared for him. He found no motive to live. Because of that, he chose to let Kurumi claim his life. I see. So, that's why. He must have just watched that video before I summoned him to met- Summoned him to met with me! <laughs> Typo there. To it, meet with me. It can't be! He just gave up then? Damn! T to hell with that! A damn moron! But, but... It's too bad to have no reason to live, but it's also too bad- It's also bad to have too many reasons to live. Yes. That's why you did such a terrible thing, right, Kurumi? For too many reasons. Yeah. You are free to judge me for killing Ryoma. 
I would bear the burden of being seen as evil for the sake of my nation and its people. For everyone. Because that is what it means to serve with selfless devotion. That is why I needed to survive. I'm sorry if it all feels too bad for you when, when my life was on the line. Sacrificing you all meant saving the lives of men, women, children, and elderly. Yeah, but it's sa saving them, maybe. It wasn't guaranteed that you were going to be able to save them, or that they even needed saving. My apologies. I wanted to live. Kurumi. <laughs> Monokuma, Goto, Goto have questions. You need something? Oh, what is it, dum dum? Hey, can Goto be blackened instead of Kurumi? Huh? What? Gonta. Gonta, not smart boy, but even Gonta understand what everyone say. <laughs> Kurumi should live, not Gonta. World needs her. Aww. Um, I was thinking the same thing. I don't want to die, but Kurumi's life is way more valuable than mine. <laughs> Kurumi's got the lives of hundreds of millions of people on her shoulders, right? Unfortunately. Logically, Kurumi's survival would result in fewer casualties in our collective survival world. Jeez. Jeez. Maybe it would've been better if we got in the culprit wrong and we all died a dumb death. Huh? What do you mean? Oh, man. If Kurumi survives, then the nation's future will be secure. Then, what's the point of me doing all this? Why did I reveal the truth? What have I done? Fuck! Ah, this is not what my... Fucking character arc needed! Was I wrong? I, I shouldn't have. Shuichi! What kind of face is that, Shuichi? You're my sidekick, let's suck it up! Huh? What? What? Hey! That goes for all of you. To hell with all this value of life shit! Alright! Life's not just some, something. Can't trade it or put a price on it. Kaido. Listen up. And your life doesn't just belong to you. It's for your parents, your grandparents, your friends. Even your neighbors. I mean... It's not something you can just decide to throw away on your own. Don't worry about it. So we didn't do the wrong thing. Life's purpose is to be lived. As long as you stay alive, anything's possible. You can even go to the stars. Of course! So I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. I wanna live. I haven't even traveled to space yet. There's no way in hell I'm gonna die here. Jeez. Idiot's talking again. But... But... He's right. I mean, you're right too. He's an idiot. But he's right. So divine! Yep, he's a tour damned idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, but idiots always fill me with inspiration. Shut up! Hey, shut up! I told you not to stop calling me an idiot. But... Maybe his stupid speech is just what we need to hear. Kermit certainly looks shaken by it. Huh? Shaken? Because? Do you really think someone as desperate to live as Kurumi would give up so easily? Of course not. In fact, she probably still hasn't given up, even now. <laughs> oh! Jesus fucking Christ! Oh my god, how many creepy faces do I have? That's a- I think it's a different one, isn't it? It is! Oh my- She was hoping that learning the truth would make one of us volunteer to die in her place. Oh my god! I've got the most terrifying nightmare field faces in the whole fucking series! Seriously! Maybe in any game any of us ever let's play! Fuck! Huh? What? Oh, man. But... But Monokuma would never allow Blackie to escape punishment, so maybe... She wanted everyone to rebel, so she could use that as cover to escape on her own. <laughs> <laughs> How bad a Kurumi? Am I close? You are the most detestable Cretan I have ever met. You knew exactly what I would attempt, yet allowed me to explain anyway. Huh? What, what he just said was true? You mean... You... You tried to trick Gonta? Tried to trick everyone? Really? Seriously? You backstabbing cunt! Cut it out. Enough. She's just trying to stay alive in her own way. Nobody can blame her for that. That is correct. That's right. I must survive. Fuck! Every last one of you, especially you, Kokichi, you little shit. I swear, I will see you in hell. Do you see me? I will fucking see you there. Go ahead, bitch. Yeah, that's right. Take me with you. Just try and take me with you. That's right. I got creepy face, baby. You can't stop this. <laughs> wow. Damn, fuck, Kermit is fucking a cold stone fox. Slay anyone, God. But it's interesting, you see, you see just how very keen and sharp Kokichi is, though. Like, he sees through this shit. He sees through all the lies. So yeah, maybe what he's saying is pretty detestable, and he is a little piece of shit. But God damn, he's a smart little piece of shit. And he will see through your bullshit. And at least, and he's also quite interesting. You know, he's a, he's a very interesting character. I gotta say, I really am liking him more than I like Kameda or Tagami from previous games. <laughs> what the fuck, Nico? <laughs> Shut up, Kameda. Nobody gives a shit about you anymore. Go back to being dead. 
and then coming back and getting a robot arm. Ha, <laughs> that's right. I missed my girly hand. That was way cooler. I think everyone likes girly hand Kameda better than robo hand Kameda. Because I carry the weight of an entire nation on my shoulders. I would not have killed Ryoma if I was so easily deterred. This request will not be fulfilled until I have brought joy to every citizen of this nation. You must live. So no matter what, I cannot die. That is why I killed Ryoma. Even now, I refuse to give up. Huh? K Kurumi? I see. You still refuse to give up? So, what do you intend to do? You must live. I intend to live. I must survive, no matter what it takes. Is she gonna go after Monokuma or something? If I must debase myself, so be it. I will drink filth and eat carrion to survive. I will survive! I will do anything, anything to survive! She screamed and she started running. Oh, shit. Ah! Oh, fuck. She's trying to r run to get out of there. Oh, bitch, you're in my world. There's no escaping me. Couldn't believe what I was seeing. It's completely undig an undignified exit. I have to escape. I won't die here. Uh-oh. <laughs> There's no way I'm letting you out of here. Damn. Ugly and raw and feral. She just ran as fast as she could. I heard my voice call out. Uh, run! Damn it! R run! Run, Kurumi! Please run! Hurry! R run! Please hurry! Uh, hurry! Run! Hey! Like I said, I'm not letting you leave! Please! Your life belongs to me! Please run! I will live! I refuse to die in a hellhole like this! Now then, I've prepared a special punishment for Kirumi Tojo, the ultimate maid! Oh god, I think this is gonna be fucked up. For my nation, for my people! Let's give it everything we've got! It's punishment time! Hey, dum dum! You know the elevator isn't even up! There's nowhere to go, you idiot! I will not! Holy shit! Oh yeah, you are! Came over! Oh, I see her! Hey! Get back here! Get your ass back here, bitch! Oh. Who the hell are these people? I can't read Japanese! Oh. Strand of Agony. Oh my god, no! Oh, it's it's like the shape of her uh, apron there. Oh god, climbing a rope of thorns to escape. Ow! Ow! Oh! <gasps> oh my god! Oh, she's still gonna go! Oh my god! Ah! Oh my god! It's so fucked! It's so fucked! Just do whatever she can to escape. Oh my god! Ah! Ah! Oh! Oh god! Oh, that is fucked up. You're right there. You almost got it. Oh. The rope's about to. Oh my god! What the fuck? Uh oh. Yep. <gasps> Money! I was killing Minuski! Oh! It's just a picture of Cran. Where'd that light come from then? Oh! Oh shit, never mind. I thought Minuski was gonna kill Monodom. Oh, fucking damn! Monodom will slay anyone. Oh! Fuck me, I was messed up! Damn! The excuses of this game are fucked! They're all so fucked! What the hell? She just falls all the way down to her goddamn death after getting sawed to bits. Ugh, oh, give me shocky fucking flashbacks from the anime. Really? Why, Monodom? Why did you kill Minosuke? I'm barfing too! It's okay. 
If you need to vomit, let it out. You will feel much better afterwards. I don't have to vomit because I am cold heartless machine. Monosuke, he was no different from Mana Kid. He was getting in the way of us getting along. We don't need him. Yeah. D don't need him. Let's get along. We few remaining Mana Cubs must get along. We are all friends. No matter what, we must get always get along. Not even father can stop us from getting along. I will not forgive that. Not if he knows what is good for him. Oh, whoa. Oh, excuse me, look at you. Looks like somebody grew themselves a pair of nuts and bolts. Ha ah, you see what I did there? Huh? Ha uh -huh. Oh, holy shit. This academy belongs to us. The age of the monocombs begins now. Oh my god. Uh, 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 uh. Oh my god, my dumbs go off, go off the deep end. How dare you take that rebellious tone with me, young man? Motherfucker. This is my goddamn franchise, you hear me? MINE! I'm not handing it over to some green little shit! You think you could take it from me? You could take it from my cool dead fucking boss! Motherfucker, get away from That's nice! Oh, and yet, this angsty attitude of yours is just so cute! They're so cute! It's so cute how your little crew is shrunk by one member! Every single trial, we're gonna be doing that! Yup, shrunk! You're not getting any larger, you know! They're Oh, it's so unbearably cute! Oh, this cuteness makes me feel like I'm gonna about to sneeze! Oh, ha! Ha! How horrible! Uh, uh, ugly bitch! What the fuck? Uh -oh. <laughs> He's calling an ugly bitch! Stop it! What the fuck just happened? Did he just blow himself up cell style? Doesn't matter, now's not the time for that! <laughs> Alright, Kurumi. <laughs> K K Kurumi. I don't like that. I can't take this anymore. Even Kurumi was killed so brutally. Oh my god. I think you guys actually said apparently uh, Kadaka wrote out all the executions in this game. As opposed to the previous games where apparently he only ever wrote out the final execution. For the other ones, he had somebody else uh, uh, manage those or, or, come, or come up with those. Which maybe uh, explains why this, these ones are... God, these are fucking savage ones. I feel so much more savage and less cartoonish than the previous games. <laughs> I don't want to do this anymore. I uh, uh, like that too. Aw. It's okay, Himiko. Aw. I'll protect you. I won't let that happen, Himiko. I'll protect you no matter what. I'll protect you no matter what. But I don't want to do this anymore either. Please, stop this killing game. I don't care if we stay trapped here forever. Come on, come on. Oh, isn't that what Atua said? Because Atua says so. Our desire, even your desire to escape this place, can corrupt you beyond redemption. <laughs> it's Monokuma who is corrupt. He is the one who distributed the motive videos. I see, yes. Those videos were more dangerous than we thought to have driven, driven Kurume that far. That's true. What worries, worries me is, as long as we're trapped here, we don't know what's true or false. Okay. That must be why Kurume did, did not want to show the, the videos. She thought that if everyone felt the same murderous rage that she did, this killing game would be pure chaos. She wanted to stop it. Hey, hey! If that's the case, we sh really shouldn't show our videos to each other. Of course! That was our consensus from the beginning, not including you, of course. However... I had assumed Kukichi would try to show us our videos to get under our skin. But that did not come to pass. What, I wonder, were his intentions? Huh? I never do anything like that. I'm still thinking about what Kurumi said. Uh, um... What Kurumi said? Everything you just saw is true. They only remembered it upon watching that video. That's... Oh. What you said earlier, correct? Huh? Huh? What about it? Uh, um... She said she remembered. It didn't sound like a lie either. I see. Maybe that video had the properties of a flashback light if it made her remember. What? Huh? The properties of a flashback light? Okay. Still, how could Kurumi remember something that she never should have forgotten? Serving the entire nation seems too important for her to just forget. Mm, eh, that's true. Um, Does that mean we have motives to kill that we'll remember by watching our videos? Hmm. If that's the case, maybe it's for the best that we don't watch the videos. 
As long as we don't see them videos, we'll know our motives. Okay. Yeah, now I'm convinced. It's probably for the best. Those motive videos would mess us up. It's better if we just believe in each other. Yeah. That's right. It's best if we not remember our motives, for everyone's sake. Oh, dear. Hearing you speak of everyone's sake is the least believable lie I've heard yet. That's so <laughs> Rude. I'm always doing stuff for everyone's sake. It's a lie. <laughs> I'm sure you won't believe me when I say I have stuff like that, so I'll just keep lying. Um, but maybe seeing Kurumi's final moments has, has maybe changed my views. Because... I learned something today, Suichi. She tried to escape till the very end. Running away to live might not be a bad idea. You're right. Maybe. Maybe facing the truth isn't enough. That's right. Yeah, true. It's okay to run sometimes. Just gotta win in the end. That's all you gotta do. With that, the second class trial ended for us. A pirate victory. We still had we had still lost a friend. What is the end Kaido spoke of? And how do we reach it? I don't know. I still don't know. When we returned from the courtroom, the area was already blanketed in darkness. For now. For now, we should rest we should rest. To me, that seems the most rational course of action. You're right. Yeah, my brain's out of juice from going full throttle all day. <laughs> I know, God, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, everyone. I know I got a little out of hand back there. That was definitely, probably the most excited I've gotten in this entire series. Why, you? Like, you even have a brain to use? I won't forgive you. Anyway, this killing game is over. I won't allow it to go on. It'll be okay. It'll be fine. As long as we listen to it, too, we'll all be just fine. What's wrong? What's wrong, Gonta? Why are you staring up at the sky? Mm. It's just, even when all this bad stuff happens, stars are always so pretty. But... But stars here are different. Not the same ones Gonto used to. Uh, um... Different? Do you mean the positions of the stars? He means... Uh, we're in like a... an artificial environment, right? That's why there aren't bugs. The sky's fake. I do believe that either... One, we're... Uh, in a post-apocalyptic land or something, and this is just like some... Like, big dome. That's like, just like a... Like a facility. That's a fake sky up there. Or two, we're in space! <laughs> or maybe we're on the moon or something. Mm. Yeah, go to looking, but no can find star he remembers. Why? But why? Were we taking somewhere far away? Far away. Hey, so... Hey, right, let's all head back already. I'm wiped out. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Hey! Oh, hold on. I have to tell you guys something. Huh? What now? Like I said, I'm wiped out. Uh, oh, Jesus. Now, now, it won't take that long. So just listen to what I have to say. Says creepy face Kokichi. What is it? Well, then, what is it that you have to say? Um, Everyone seems to be treating me like some kind of compulsive liar. You get it? But that's ridiculous. There's a way worse liar than me in our group. Huh? A liar worse than you? <laughs> I'm ta- Oh, I'm talking about Maki. Huh? Oh. What? 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 What do you mean? Maki, Maki's a liar. Ah. Maki admitted it during the class trial, remember? Ryoma wanted her to show him his motive video, because he was looking for a reason to live. Well, you know. But that wasn't the whole story. Ryoma was blackmailing you, wasn't he, Maki? Huh? B but blackmail? Um. Ryoma just so happened to discover Maki's true identity. So he used that to blackmail her. I bet he says something like, if you don't show me my motive video, I'll tell everyone what you really are. That's why Maki didn't want us to know she met with Ryoma. Which means... She wanted to keep her true identity a secret. That's why she kept quiet until the last minute. Oh. And that's why she doesn't want us to see her lab? So she's not the ultimate child caregiver? Then what is she supposed to be? Hold on. Why you? What shit are you making up now? Maki's true identity? What? <laughs> I'd known Maki's true identity the whole time. Oh. For a moment there, I thought Maki had disappeared. Oh, what the fuck? She moves so fast. Oh my god. Oh! Oh! What the f- Oh, hi there. Uh, bitch, I will fucking choke you out. You hear me, motherfucker? Oh, and the fucking jam starts. You know, this is an interesting turn of events. What is she, like the ultimate ninja? Would, would you really kill me in front of everyone? No, but I can beat your ass up. Hey, Maki, what the hell's going on? Yeah, 
You can probably snap my neck like a twig right now. But that's not your style. Y you would rather kill from the shadows. Are you the ultimate assassin? Are you Peiko? Right. This <gasps> ultimate assassin. Oh, snap! Crackle pop! Oh, a thin line divides heaven and hell. Chapter 2. To be continued. Oh, we got her gloves. Swipe, swipe. <laughs> Damn it, I'm dead. <laughs> if I kill me, my ah! Servant's gloves. I thought for sure it'd be Monosuke that killed Monodom. Be like, because he's tired of being like shown up by him. Maybe Monodom's just gonna kill everybody until he's the only one left. Shit, that's interesting. Was was Pika the ultimate assassin too? Or no? She no 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 no. She was the ultimate swordsman. Yes. Oh, interesting. Ultimate assassin. Ooh, that's pretty badass. Oh, that was cool. I like to see her just fucking see her just fucking manhandle like a crazy like that. Oh my god, man, you were diesel as shit. I wonder how he, I wonder how he figured out that that's what she was. Oh, maybe he watched her motive video then. That's probably what it is. Yeah, he knew all demon long. Wow, that was that was good though. That was very interesting. You know, I I know like I do sort of like maybe figure out the killers or some certain aspects of trials, but there's still a whole bunch of shit that I get wrong. You know, I mean, there was a lot of stuff here that I was wrong about. Like, figuring out what her motive was and, you know, particular parts of how she managed to pull off the kill. So, I mean, I, I get parts of it right, but I still get a good bit wrong. So, really, I, I don't think I'm probably as impressive as you guys uh, make me out to be. <laughs> but anyway, guys, uh, I hope you all enjoyed this or these episodes. I, I don't know. I might just split that into two. I, I think it probably will. I know it's gonna, it's probably going to piss people off because if I split it in half, I might have to split it right before I, we name it. The Kurumi is the killer. I don't know. It kind of depends how, how much is left if I cut it all out. But um, anyway, if you guys did, please leave a like and a favorite. It really does help me out. And subscribe if you're not already. Become a picky penguin. I'm worthy of SLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy.